Yo, what's up guys? Paul D here from Monterey Bay Murals. Uh, 2015 Nexties Award winner. And we're actually here over at the City of Santa Cruz Beach Flats Park. And we're going to be interviewing Irene Juarez O'Connell. And she is 2017's Artist of the Year uh, Award winner. So let's go and... Uh, and uh, talk to her but uh, the reason why we're going live with this is so that I can show you exactly what she's been working on here and it's just a massive beautiful mural here and we're gonna go ahead and take this over to her and so that I can switch this around all right here we go so again Beach Flats Park and she has just, you can already see it in the distance in the background, all this uh, beautiful painting, this mural that she's been working on. Uh, feel free to ask questions as, as we conduct our interview. It is, it is going to be relatively short, but the important thing is that we get to know Irene, her art, and, and why she does what she does, what motivates her. But let's go on over here. And first and foremost, just take a look at this beautiful mural that she's been working on with the community here at the Beach Flats here in Santa Cruz. I mean, it's amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. I, I even asked her if she can teach me the tricks of the trade as far as uh, uh, painting portraits. That, that's my weakness. <laughs> so we're going to have to get a, a nice little workshop going here. But I'm just going to walk around here and look at all this. The colors. It's very vibrant. Very very positive. Mm, the energy on this thing is awesome too. Here we go. And we'll go in here. There's actually kids in the background which even makes it even nicer. So you know people are already enjoying the art. And the space. <clears throat> here we go I mean I'm talking about massive absolutely massive mural the detail in this thing is awesome so we're just gonna walk around and Irene will you know obviously talk to us about this too because uh, it's just so much to look at so much to take in but to get it from her is is, is the goal here look at this Wow absolutely beautiful this is so neat all right <clears throat> and again uh, just a reminder feel free to ask questions we may not get to them all but uh, you know it'll help keep this an interactive community interview which is the idea behind this too look at that I'm trying to keep it as still as I can since this is off my cell phone. Here we go. There she is working over there. I'm coming out to, we're going to go and talk to her here in a bit. All right. <clears throat> here we go. There we go, close-ups. Anybody have a favorite part? Feel free to comment. There you go. All right, and it goes all the way to the end here. Such a long, beautiful mural. All right, here she is putting in some work. Let's see if we can get to her and ask her some questions. Hey, Irene, how's hey, it going? Paul, how's it going? Good. Thanks for here. No, thank you for having us and uh, meeting with me out here. Obviously, uh, you're working on this mural. Yeah. Uh, first, yeah. First and foremost. Let me uh, just move my hand out of the way there. Okay, first and foremost, congratulations Thank on your 2017 Next Year Award winner, uh, Artist of the Year. How does it feel? How does it feel? 
Um, you know, it feels great. I'm very, I'm very grateful and very honored to be recognized um, for this labor of love that I've been pouring, you know, sweat and my heart into for the last year. Um, so it feels good. You know, Santa Cruz has such a strong art scene. Santa Cruz County and it has such a strong art scene and a growing mural movement. And to be, you know, joining. Um, a cohort of, of amazing muralists is exciting for me and, and also the next day for me represents um, an opportunity to um, show other young women, you know, me being a woman, a Latina, a Chicana, uh, an opportunity for, for representation, you know, to show other young women who see themselves and want to see themselves as artists um, and as public artists an opportunity to, to express that. So I'm really excited, I'm really grateful, I'm going to be inviting some of my my younger mirrorless friends uh, to the ceremony, to the award ceremony, um, just to just to show them, you know, this is possible. It's not just a male-dominated world. It's not just a white-dominated world. Um, that you know, we can uh, use the tool of public art to uplift our communities and express values that we have and, and visions that we have uh, for our community so i'm really grateful awesome and you know this is a real treat that we actually get to be out here with you to see you at working and doing what you love uh can you tell us a little bit about this project that's going on here yes so um this project is about to be the longest mural in santa cruz yeah the longest mural in santa, longest cruz. Mural in santa cruz okay it's 190 feet long uh, by six feet tall and so I happened to just be in the right place at the right time uh, in 2014 when this mural was whitewashed by the city of Santa Cruz. Uh, there was a lot of uproar, there was a lot of frustration and hurt from the community. And I happened to be here already working with the kids club and in the garden. Um, but I had studied public art in, at UCSC, I had studied Latin American Latino studies. Um, and I felt like this was an opportunity to really utilize my skills and uh, already the conversations I had been engaging in the com with the community to um, really honor and do some healing work because a lot there was a lot of hurt. So a lot of this mural represents healing for a community that has been feeling neglect and mistrust and um, uh, really burned by by the city and. Um, so yeah, a lot of this mural represents that and also is a celebration. There's a lot of um, kind of high vibration, joyous um, images and motifs in this mural. Mm -hmm. And it really is a celebration of education, of motherhood, of culture, of history, of um, movement building, of um, education. And, and yeah. So it's been about a year in the making. Since last January, we were going through um, visualization meetings with the community. Uh, we went through a process to get it approved through the city. Um, I've had kids and families working on it from the beginning. And now we're finally doing the, the last details mm -hmm. and, and hoping to be done very soon. And members of the community here as well, right? Have been Yes, yes. In fact, um, some of the kids here, I don't know where Brianna is, are in the mural themselves. So, oh. um, you know, I can name them. There's yeah. Javier, there's Autumn. Javier, Autumn. Got, okay. This is Nicole right here. So Nicole uh, was my 14-year-old mural assistant who was paid to oh, help neat. me organize the, the paints, organize the younger kids working on the mural. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, she's an up-and-coming young muralist who recently just received a $1,000 grant to do her own mural now. So, oh, wow. You know, it's... That's, that's really what it's about. I mean, yes, it's the finished product, but it's also about the process. Mm -hmm. um, and there's really something special about a collaborative process when community can come together to define for themselves how they see themselves, how they want to be reflected, how they want to be honored, um, rather than, you know, uh, stereotypes that, that really try and stigmatize the community that lives here, um, really kind of uh, narrow down what what is the culture that, of the community that lives here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's like Brianna, you got Angelina, the, the, the Yosa of uh, Maiz, also known as Sendeo, is based on a community member, Reina. And the, the black and white images over there is uh, George Au Jr. as a four-year-old, who oh, okay. many of you might recognize George Au is now a uh, prominent businessman and um, a property owner here in Santa Cruz who contributed a lot to the Beach Flats Park, to the Beach Flats Garden. 
Uh, the other character is a Hawaiian prince named Prince David who came and brought surfing to Santa Cruz. So I thought it was important to recognize just the, the potent history that's here at the river mouth. Um, mm -hmm. The indigenous piece is reflective of the Ohlone people who once called this home. It was called Lina, which means place of the great abalone. So wanting to you know honor and, and recognize their presence that was here first. Um, so yeah. Cool. And so when you're not uh, painting murals, what else do you do? So I have the great privilege of working with youth on a farm uh, for an amazing organization called Food Wet. So from Monday to Friday, my 40 hour week is um, cooking and, and working on a farm with youth. It's a lot of fun. I get a lot of energy from them. Um, and so I, on the weekends, I'm working here on the mural, which is why it's been going so slowly. But, um, you know, I said to the, uh, a friend the other day, it's just like the mural that never ends. But then I realized, you know, that's the point because it's allowed me to build relationships with the community here. It's allowed me points of access to when um, there needs to be advocacy and liaison building. Um, so, so yeah, it's been more than just a mural. It's really been a whole community process um, mm -hmm. and relationship. That's awesome. And so this year's winner, how's it feel? <laughs> It feels so good. You know, my, my mom's coming up, my, my abuelos are coming up, go. my brothers are coming up. Um, and it just feels good to, to be, it's really an affirmation because I thought, okay, working 40 hours a week for an organization, you know, that's going to be my life. I might not get to continue my art practice as much as I would like, but mm -hmm. this was an affirmation that, hey, we can do it. <laughs> we can, do, you know, fit the Together. arts in where we can and, yeah. and really... I'm going to be dedicating this uh, award to the community here and to the people who helped me and uplift me, to the, the previous artists of the mural, to everyone who, who encouraged me and told me that, yes, I am an artist, when I was like, ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> right so on. really, this, this, this award is so much more beyond just me, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud to, you know, just carry it, yeah. Okay, any, uh, any last thoughts or words for... Um, Anybody just, like the community yeah, just or just to, you know. to event Santa Cruz. I'm excited to be joining a great legacy and cohort of Nexty's winners. Um, and let's just keep building together. Yeah, through the arts, through policy, through education. Uh, let's keep building together. It's important to honor, you know, us and what we're doing, but it's also important to honor and uplift the the images that that this is conveying you know we're talking about rights for immigrants we're talking about a uh, livable wage we're talking about affordable housing so you know this mere and in respect for indigenous treaties respect for um, Chinese immigrants you know let's let's celebrate this mural but then let's also do the work to uplift the community that this mural represents all right thank you so much yes. for taking some time thank to you, talk Paul. with us yes, and uh, we'll see you at the event yes see you there. congratulations thank you. bye